upon Karen Kestelou, member of the Board of Governors of Roy Road Universities, to offer the invocation. As we gather today for Royal Roads University Convocation, let us take a moment to thank the Eternal Spirit for all that we have been given and for bringing us together to enjoy this celebration of achievement. Eternal Spirit, we thank you on behalf of the graduates for instilling in each of them the confidence to undertake such a significant task. We thank you for maintaining their focus with determination and with a sense of humor. We thank you for the support of friends, family, and faculty who have given of themselves in ways that make a difference. We thank you for bringing each graduate successfully to this point in their journey of lifelong learning. Eternal Spirit, for all of this, we give thanks. Thank you, Ms. Castello. Please be seated. <laughs> this year, marks the 10th anniversary of the founding of Royal Roads University. The province of British Columbia was determined to establish a different but nevertheless complementary institution when it created Royal Roads 10 years ago. And these 10 years offer clear evidence that the government was both wise and far-sighted in its determination and action. Undergraduates come to us after completing their first two years of their programs often at one of BC's fine colleges or university colleges. The average age of our undergraduates is 27, and that of our graduates, 40. Our graduate students are able to continue their careers on a full-time basis while they pursue a master's degree full-time. Only a few institutions in British Columbia offer the inter interdisciplinary degrees we provide, and where they do, it is often because they have seen the success of our offerings and have chosen to emulate us. This British Columbian University is now fully engaged in extending ourselves to students and countries throughout the Pacific Rim and beyond. And in so doing, we fulfill the mandate given us by government. The internet-based learning system we created just as the World Wide Web was emerging remains a first-class tool for teaching and learning. And most North American universities have followed our lead in the use of technology for education. The great majority of our students and alumni hail from British Columbia, so we serve the province first. But we regularly en enroll graduates and undergraduates from all 13 provinces and territories of Canada, as well as 48 different countries. And we collaborate with our provincial colleagues, with the University of Victoria and Camosun College in the Leading the Way project, which is designed to meet the leadership needs of BC's public service, with BC IT in soon offering a master's in healthcare leadership and management, with Capilano College in a graduate certificate program serving the needs of tourism professionals. From a standing start in 1995, Royal Roads University has grown to serve more than 3,000 learners each year, and we now have more than 6,500 alumni working and contributing around the world. These have been exhilarating years, and we have quite literally just begun. In the years to come, Royal Roads University will again pioneer innovation. We in intend to offer some of the first professional doctorates in Canada perhaps as soon as 2006. Upon approval by our board, we will launch the Pacific Center of International Tourism and Hotel Management and establish Canada and British Columbia as homes to world-class preparation of professionals in these critical economic sectors. We are already at work in China, likely the single most powerful economy 
of the 21st century. We, offer, we will be offering programs in leadership for Chinese educators seeking to reform traditional models of teaching and learning, and environmental management to assist in at addressing the serious problems of environmental degradation threatening China's quality of life. And of course, in entrepreneurial management to a country literally transforming itself into a market economy. As early as this fall, we begin work with five universities in Thailand to develop both Thai and Canadian skills in understanding and managing conflict. In fact, Chancellor Skeen and I will be traveling to the Far East next week, and while there, we will confer honorary Royal Roads University doctoral degrees on a noted academic, Dr. Norinit Sedabuder, and a career diplomat and businessman, Jingjai Hakenklaas, for their pioneer work in educating members of the Thai civil service and for their achievements in fostering friendship between Thailand and Canada. And closer to home, we are exploring ways of creating improved governance capacities among First Nations people and their communities. The achievement of our graduates and the enthusiasm of our learners offer the most telling evidence that Royal Roads has taken its rightful place among Canada's universities. That is what makes it so satisfying to welcome each of our new graduates on the podium today and to celebrate their achievement with members of their families, their faculty, and the staff. There is so much more we are doing and will do, but now is not the time and here is not the place for full inventory. We are here to celebrate the achievements of these learners, their families, and the faculty and staff of the university. And none of our institutional accomplishments are anywhere as important than the success of these graduates. So now, with no further ado, I call upon our leader, the Chancellor, Mr. Robert Skeen. Good afternoon. President Emeritus Kelly, Mrs. Kelly, honored guests, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. 2005 marks a very special year in the life of Royal Roach University. Not only is it the year in which you graduated, but it's the 10th anniversary of our startup. It's been 10 years since the legislature of BC decided, in its wisdom, to charter a new kind of university with a new approach to collaborative learning, catering to a clientele that was often overlooked by more traditional schools. That is, mature students with some experience in the work world who want to improve their job prospects and contribute more to their workplaces and society. And accomplished all this without re relinquishing their job or giving up their family responsibilities. There were many back in 1995 who predicted that the university would not last past its fifth anniversary. But thanks to a dedicated staff and faculty, and thanks to alumni who have been singing our praises, and thanks to classes of enterprising individuals such as yourselves, we have shown ourselves to be the little university that could. So our mild astonishment at reaching this day in our 10th year may parallel yours upon actually reaching graduation after all those sleepless nights and tight deadlines. Like your graduation, Royal Roads started out as a dream and resulted from a lot of hard work on the part of our faculty and staff. They have gone beyond normal job expectations to ensure the achievement of your goal. And this is because, in the words of that immortal philosopher, Vidal Sassoon, <laughs> if you don't look good, we don't look good. <laughs> We're marking this occasion 
as we come to the close of our anniversary year by recognizing two gentlemen who helped establish railroads as a force to be reckoned with in Canadian higher education. Both are having their portraits unveiled today, and both portraits will hang in the quarter deck, inaugurating a gallery that in time will go around the walls of that room. If you and your cohorts achieve the kind of success that has already come to our graduates, the President will shortly introduce you to one of these remarkable individuals, President Emeritus Jerry Kelly. It feels good at this point in our respective lives to look back with a sense of achievement, doesn't it? But we, we at Royal Roads know, as surely as you, that the real test of our mettle and our investment and invest, inventiveness has yet to come. The eyes of the world, justifiably, would be on you as well as on your university. I wish you good speed. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chancellor, it's my honor to assist you to unveil the portrait of Dr. Jerry Kelly, Royal Road's first long-serving president and to introduce Dr. Kelly to this convocation. Royal Road's earliest beginning was under the supervision of a series of interim chief executive officers. But it was only after Jerry Kelly came here from the Alberta higher education system to be our president at the board's invitation in 1996 that the university achieved recognition from the Association of Universities and Colleges of Canada and grew to fulfill the mission of its creators. This is because Dr. Kelly, a student of higher education ever since his days in graduate school, was so strongly seized of the original vision and he was such a persuasive salesman and entrepreneur that he infected everyone who crossed his path with a belief in our principles, which survived to this day. As President Emeritus, Jerry continues to lead and motivate Royal Road University staff and this year he is heading up the Greater Victoria's education campaign for the United Way. The portrait we will unveil was made possible by Rob Destrube of Victoria, and we think it captures Jerry's essential friendliness and his deep sense of attachment to our beautiful campus. It will allow us to remember his pioneering spirit with gratitude and will show future generations of learners the face of someone who had the courage to bring a dream to life. Dr. Kelly, would you do me the honor of joining me here, please? Mr. Chancellor. I can tell you it's a great touch-up job. <laughs> Good afternoon. Congratulations to all Commerce, MBA, and certificate learners graduating this afternoon. Learners, faculty and staff, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, family and guests. It's great to be here once again. My last convocation was two years ago when Ann and I proudly saw our daughter Sarah also receive her MBA from Rural Roads. As past president, I'm reminded of Bill Clinton's recent comment. He said that the upside of being a retired president is that now you can say what you really mean. The downside is nobody cares. <laughs> At the outset, I want to thank my classmate, soulmate, confidant, my wife Anne, for the tireless and cheerful work she did for the university during my presidency. You can also thank Anne. You may also want to thank Anne for 
your not hearing three quarters of my speech today, which was mercifully scrubbed. <laughs> if I was smart, I'd sit down right now. But what I'll do, uh, take this opportunity to offer uh, our graduates uh, three insights into uh, how we set up Royal Roads, which you may find useful uh, in your own organizations. Part of our success was to benchmark the very best practices found in business or educational organizations anywhere. Based on our research and the work that uh, had been done by the original people who set up the concept for Royal Roads, we came up with the design based on three principles, not unlike those underlying the ISO 9000 or continuous quality movement. These were, one, to create the best possible educational experience for learners, two, to create the best possible work environment for employees, and three, to construct an organization which could flex and adapt with change. And the first principle, our overarching priority was to make it abundantly clear that this university exists for you, our learner, our customer. Everything we did revolved around making your learning experience the most interesting, the most challenging, and also the most rewarding and useful to your career. We borrowed ideas and improved on them. For example, our professors scoured other institutions to see how they used outcomes or competency-based curriculum, how they were using distance learning technology and innovative teaching methods. While some questioned what Royal Rose was doing and wondered if our practices were purely rhetoric, our success was affirmed by the principal of McGill University, Dr. Bernard Shapiro, who headed the accreditation team approving Royal Roads in the late 90s. Summarizing Bernard's review, he told me, he said, you know, Jerry, what you're doing here is absolutely outstanding. These are the kinds of things we should be doing at McGill. But to change it would take me light years. Just five years later, at this convocation, Dr. James Duderstadt is the president emeritus of the University of Michigan and a noted writer on the need for change in higher education, stood here and proclaimed, I have seen the future of the university and is here at Royal Roads. What I've always enjoyed hearing is what learners think. Just yesterday, I met a commerce learner over and we were over working out in the gym and as usual I said well how's it going and he said you know I've been in school for a long time and this is the first time in my life I can honestly say that I really like school for me that says it all turning to the second principle we enunciated related to work environment we knew that if Royal, War, Royal Roads was to become the very best place to learn, we also must become the very best place to earn, the best place to work, and those two go hand in hand. We needed to create a quality work environment. How could we do this? Well, you know, we teach all that stuff in our programs. All we had to do was practice what we teach. As but one example, we set up long, lifelong or long, we set up week-long learning laboratories. For some people, I'm sure they felt like they were lifelong. But this included all staff uh, from gardeners, security through senior administration to learn about the stuff we were teaching in the university. Leadership, communications, conflict resolution, customer service, planning. What a novel concept for us actually living our learning. All of this, as was mentioned earlier, was incredibly time consuming, and I commend all of the people at Royal Roads who committed themselves way beyond reasonable expectations to see this university get off the ground. Briefly, the third principle related to organizations. We had to set up the right kind of organization to pull this innovation off. 
The organization must, like successful organizations anywhere, be flexible and responsive to change. We streamline decision making away from traditional university committees to a business structure and our board set goals and made sure we measured them so that we would continually improve in all areas. So, by way of a nutshell summary, highly satisfied learners, employees who love working here, and a change-oriented organization all contributed to Royal Road success. And finally, and lest your mind slip off into one of your favorite fantasies, let me conclude. In his book, Good to Great Organizations, Jim Collins says that CEOs should put long-term success of the organization above self to establish an environment that fosters continuing success long after they're gone. I'm delighted to have my portrait hanging at Royal Rose University, but even more important, I trust that in the long run, Learners today and those 5, 10, 20 years from now will also feel Royal Roads is the best possible place to learn. And for all faculty and staff that you feel Royal Roads is the best possible place to work and earn. It's been my heartfelt honor and the privilege of my lifetime to serve as the inaugural president of Royal Roads. And thank you very much. I now call upon Dr. Ron Berdessa, our Vice President, Academic and Provo, to present the Convocation Awards to our graduates from programs in the Faculty of Management. The Governor General's Gold Medal is awarded to the graduating learner who has presented the most outstanding thesis or graduate project. This year's winner of the Governor General's Gold Medal is Paul Johnston, Master of Business Administration. The Chancellor's Award is presented to the graduating learner in each program who has achieved the highest academic performance. The recipients of the Chancellor's Award are for the Bachelor of Commerce in Entrepreneurial Management, Jean Hudima. And for the Master of Business Administration, Executive Management in Educational Administration, the recipient is Kristin Hansen. The Founders Award is presented to the graduating learner in each program who has most exemplified the qualities articulated in the education plan of Royal Roads University. Those qualities are leadership, sustainability, and personal development. The recipients of the Founders Award are, for the Bachelor of Commerce in Entrepreneurial Management, Vincenza Policardi.
and for the Master of Business Administration, Executive Management in Educational Administration, the recipient is Penelope Clark Richardson. The Mercer Advisors Bachelor of Commerce Scholarship is presented to the most well-rounded Bachelor of Commerce learner who has demonstrated the highest academic standing upon graduation, as well as outstanding qualities in the areas of work and business ethics, student spirit within the RRU community, and value-based leadership. The recipient of the Mercer Advisors Bachelor of Commerce Scholarship is Sean Price. Congratulations to all our award winners. Will the graduands please rise for the presentation to the Chancellor? Mr. Chancellor, I present to you this graduating class of Royal Roads University. They and those who are absent today, but whose names are recorded in the program of convocation, have fulfilled all of the requirements of their programs, and the Academic Council requests that you confer upon them the degree recommended. By the authority invested in me, I admit you to the credential to which you and those in abstentia are entitled, and urge you to be always mindful of the motto of this university, living or learning, who chaste shall he stop. You may now be seated. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Niraj Bhargava, Dean of the Faculty of Management, will say a few words to the graduating classes. On this wonderful day of celebration, I am delighted to congratulate the graduates on behalf of the faculty and staff of Royal Roads Faculty of Management. Together, we share the pride in the journey you have taken to arrive at this special day and event. And while I've been reminded on occasion that it's been quite a journey for you, I will share with you that we've also evolved from our learnings from you. When you came to Royal Roads and our programs, we were the School of Business. Now, we are the Faculty of Management. Let me just take a moment to explain the difference. You, our learners, come into our programs from around the world with significant real-world experience. Our faculty, staff, and programs were challenged to facilitate practical and relevant learning to you, a group of already accomplished individuals, to take you to the next level of management effectiveness and your career. I know that we, and you, the new graduates, have lived up to that challenge. Our learners, learners know that making a difference in an organization is not just about business analysis and decision making, but it is about effectively implementing decisions. And implementation is all about knowing how to manage in a complex world and, wi wi and within the context of your enterprise. It is with this understanding and focus that we have become the Faculty of Management. In our faculty, we often speak about our focus on advancing the practice of management. And we are guided by the vision that the practice of management must be advanced largely through energized and confident people like you. In that mission as well, we speak about responsible management. 
The message that I wish to give you as you embark on the exciting next steps in your careers and lives is to remember your responsibilities and that these responsibilities go well beyond ensuring that the shareholders' business interests are served. For the good of our global and local communities, we urge you all, whether you're from Bangladesh or British Columbia, or Taiwan, China, or across Canada, wherever you're from, take, to, to take on your growing mandates with a serious eye to the responsibilities you carry for the many important stakeholders that your work will affect. And while I remind you of your responsibilities, we all know that today is a day for celebration. So let me not hold up the show. I really look forward to seeing your confident smiles across the stage. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, Dr. Stephen Long, Associate Dean, will announce the names of the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, Distinguished honorees, graduates, family, and friends and colleagues, I'm honored to present to you today graduates from the Master of Business Administration, with the candidates for the Master of Business Administration, Executive Management, Educational Administration, please come forward, and could I ask you to please hold your applause until all of the graduates have received their degrees. Della Rose Anaquad. Brian James Andres. Catherine Jane Sellers and Emma. Richard James Blakely. Julie Carolyn Harris Cameron. Penny Clark Richardson. Raymond Todd Clayton. Doris Crespin Mueller. Lionel John Diederichs. Patricia Michelle Flinterman. Eleanor John Franson. Diane Gordon. Kristen Hansen. Robert Ian Humphreys.
Alan M. Orr. Rodney James Quinton. Clemens Rettich. Susan Lee Roy. Brian William Shepherd, Mark Joseph Winches, Tracy Joy Sloten, Master of Business Administration, Executive Management and Leadership. Mr. Chancellor, Dr. Stephen Rochefort, Associate Dean, responsible for programs in Asia, will announce the names of the candidates for the Master of Business Administration. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, colleagues. I'm honored to present to you today graduates from the Master of Business Administration program. Would the candidates for the Master of Business Administration Executive Management please come forward. Uh, please hold your applause until all the graduates have received their degrees. Jen Yu Chang. Yuen Cheng. Chin Yu Chen. Yi Chen Chen. Xu Ping Chen. Wen Chen Chu. Jin Sung Chao. Cheng Hua Chu. Shu Hui Cheng. Win Sing Xiao.
Jung Fu Shu. Jin Ta Huan. Yu Lin Huang. Shamamul Islam. Jian Chi Lai. Xiu Feng Liao. Chai Chung Lian. Jin Tsai Lin. M. Shamsher Raman. Wu Yi Su. Yu Chao Sung. Jin Chi Tsai. Chung Ming Tu. Xu Chiang Wang. Hao Hui Wu. Pai Chu Wu. Xu Lan Yi. Yi Xin Yu. We will now have a brief presentation on behalf of the graduate learners. Would you please welcome Sham Shur Raman and Rick Blakely, the learner representatives for the Master of Business Administration programs. Thank you very much, Stephen. Podium dignitaries, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, my, ho my cohort is the third Royal Roads University MBA class to graduate with a specialization in educational administration. And I'm deeply uh, honored to represent this cohort. I thank this wonderful group of individuals for selecting me to represent them. It's been a great privilege to be involved in this excellent adventure with you. First and foremost, uh, the group asked me to uh, thank, on behalf of the graduate learners, uh, we want to express our heartfelt appreciation to our families, our dear friends, and uh, all the people who helped us out. You are the people who provided the environment for our success while we were home and away. You're the people who filled in the gaps and uh, made up for our absence while we were occupied with assignments, online classes, team meetings, and our residences. You were the one who put us back together after the re re residences. <laughs> you are truly wonderful people. 
We love you dearly. Thank you very much. Thanks also go out to our team members and the other members of this very special group for being there as we experience the major frustrations uh, as well as the, the fantastic revelations. Think back to when we started fumbling with notes and binders, feeling like we didn't belong. We see how this experience has changed each one of us at a very personal level. We have grow all grown and the feeling is euphoric. The, the transformation into a highly functioning learning team is something that we will take with us to other groups. And what about that 2002 cohort, the group that provided all the kind advice? We cheer them on in their future endeavors and we will remember them. We take a moment to remember the people who couldn't be here today and wish them well. We, we will celebrate extra hard for them to make up for the fact they aren't here today. Throughout our time at Royal Roads University, we were guided and supported by a wonderful group of support staff, faculty, and other individuals. You people are simply the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our cohort is leaving a picnic table as our legacy to Royal Roads University, a symbol of our times at Cranbrook, around a simple picnic table. The picnic table is a gathering place where friends share, teach, learn, and inspire each other to build a better future for our children. Congratulations to you all. It was a pleasure sharing this learning experience and this journey with you all. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. <clears throat> My name is Shamsur Rahman and I'm from Bangladesh. Uh, Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of faculties of the Royal Roads University, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, my fellow graduates, honestly, honestly speaking, the golden afternoon at Royal Roads and its splendid picturesque surroundings, surroundings made me truly speechless. And I'm not known to be among the speech-making species in my country. <clears throat> However, I cannot help without making one today in order to complete an unfinished business of my life. Gentlemen, it is the business of having attended at least one convocation in life. Nearly 43 years ago, when I completed my honors graduation and then the masters at the University of Dhaka, once titled rather in a colonial fashion, the Oxford of the East, there were no convocations. Nearly 10 years, the students of Bangladesh, then East Pakistan, did not allow the authorities to hold any convocation at the university as the country was plunged into agitations and political turmoil. <clears throat> so, I have no records, or rather any photographs, to leave, behind for my, to leave behind for my generations to make them believe that I was really not totally unlettered. <clears throat> Nearly 38 years later, I found PML, the agency which represents Royal Roads University in my country, only four lanes down where I live, and sought admission to learn a bit about accounting and finance. 
To my surprise, I was not refused the admission at this stage of my life. And to a much greater surprise, I found that a highly elaborate and interesting banquet was waiting for me besides that of dry accounts and finance at the Royal Roads campus. I thank Royal Roads for creating such de delectable recipe of courses which helped create a much needed body of professionals in my country. And I thought I should convey my appreciation for the courses that I enjoyed at Dhaka personally on the campus at Vancouver. But then again, the curse of the old unfinished business tried to cast its shadow and almost denied me a convocation this time also. The Canadian visa office turned down my request on the first day as they were plainly suspicious about the reason I wrote on the visa form and asked for my academic transcripts, which I had none. I was desperate, and on a physical inspection of my person a day later, the visa officer relented, perhaps applying the principle of benefit of doubt that normally applies to senior citizens. <coughs> well, that's true. <laughs> Before I reach the point of thanking Royal Roads University formally, I must tell you what I learned from a master marketer early in my life. His lesson to me was as follows. There is a tide in the affairs of men which taken at the flood leads on to fortune. Omitted, all the voyage of their life is bound in shallows and in miseries. On such a full sea are we now afloat and we must take the current when it serves or lose our ventures. These are lines 243 to 250 of Act 4, Scene 3 of Julius Caesar. What Shakespeare taught me in my early teens was greatly reinforced by what I was taught at the Royal Roads much later in life. There is no room, there is no room for complacency and is no room to be laid back in this fairly competing world. Remember the Chinese saying, you do not step into the same river twice. The current sweeps on, leaving those who missed the moment lagging behind. To the sharpness and skill acquired by the students, I'd like to pray and to invoke the mercy of God Almighty that he may enhance our skills with the knowledge to be fair and just and the wisdom to be beneficial to our societies. While I close this evening by thanking the Royal Roads University from the core of my heart for giving me this opportunity to be, to be here among all of you and to say a few words, I also wish to dedicate, dedicate this special evening of my life to the memory of an ultimate teacher with whom who left us on March 23, 2005. My father, Mr. Muhammad Sharif, in real life an uncompromising and consummate educationist, chided, chided me like a child even a week before he passed away that I was not completing the OCP to draw to close my studentship. I cannot tell him that for, I cannot tell him today that for once at least I carried out his wishes. It is too late now. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot thank you enough for your kindness, for your patience, for bearing with me thus long. Thank you all. Thank you. Rick and Shamshu. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Chris Duff, Director 
of the Bachelor of Commerce programs will announce the names of the candidates for the Bachelor of Commerce in Entrepreneurial Management. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends, colleagues. It's a great honor today to present to you the graduates from the Bachelor of Commerce program in Entrepreneurial Management. Would the candidates for the Bachelor of Commerce in Entrepreneurial Management please come forward. Please hold your applause until all the graduates have received their degrees. Azam Yusuf Abudnadi. Aina Marie Adushinsky. Stephanie Dale Albulet. Melody Agar. Catherine Apostolou. Excuse me. Uh, Karani at home? Yeah. <laughs> Marcus Paul Bauer. <coughs> Terence Goodman Becker. Shelly Ann Bedard. Marty Gordon Benson. Jack Bernard. Sean William Bowles. Rayleigh Buchanan. Gregory Shane Burke. Seria Gloria Casquillo. Oline Ann Cassidy. Douglas Richard uh, Caton. Bailey Janine Chambers. Yi Kyung Choi. Linda Chambers Kalina. Lynn Marie Constantinescu. Jeffrey Craig. Michael Edwin Crape. Monica Helene Dahl. Uh, 
Elise M. Dauncey. Gerard Devino. James DeChave. Carmen DeWitt. Sean Deisner. Sherry Ann Elizabeth Deisner. Danielle Ann Dixon. Lynn Dolson. Michael Druce. Michael Nels Eckland. Coralie Edwards. Richard Travers Egley. Vincent William Eisenhower. Linda Elkjar. Dustin Ellis. Christy Michelle Emery. Bart Estuis. Tony Andrew Falkenberg. David Griffin Fauser. <laughs> Victoria Real Estate Board Bursary. David Fine. Lisa Louise Forrington. <laughs> Munaini Gateri. Portia L. Gautier. Stephen Jeffrey Gessler. Nick Guinness. Kellyanne Gilbertson, Royal Roads University Entrance Award. Inderdeep Gill. Ryan Gerard. Kevin Gorsline.
Emily Gregory. Anita Gray. Kevin Grafour. Aviad Gur. Theodora Hajnal. John Harrison. Ray Hawksworth. Matthew Hennessy. Michael Edwin Hodges. Shane Lee Hong. William Drew Hogarth. James Brent Hubers. Jean Allen Hudema. Jamie Ray Houston, winner of the Royal Roads University Entrance Award. Christopher Robert Jackson. Jennifer Brianne Yonker. Leah Danielle Keen slide. <laughs> Brian Patrick Kellens. Jennifer Elizabeth Kent. Jennifer Elizabeth Killen. Matthew Kinvig. Jason Kuna. Sabrina Kostler. Devin Nicholas Cray. Kamara Tomiko Croker. Paolo Labranche. Gilles Lacroix. Michael James Lefebvre. Robert Kirby Lingwood.
Matthew McAtee. Melissa Ray McFarland. Carl McLean. Paul James McManus. Matthew McNamara. Joseph Moles. Grant Mooney. Laura Moore. Tyler Mawson, President Scholar. Christina Mewey. Caitlin Nagel. Christopher Nudd. James Adam O'Connell. Kevin O'Sullivan. Fareed Pahami. Jason Peacock. Derek John Pettigrew. Adrian John Plazier. Chenzi Policardi, Founders Award. Brian James Powell. Ross Patrick Power. Ronald Prasad. Sean Price, Chartered Accountants of BC Award Holder. Jasmine Preby. Paz Provisor. Christina Pazar.
Adam Patrick Cannell. Zoltan Rafai. Dusty Rainier. Mark Charles Spencer Robinson. Sam Samborski, President Scholar. Julie Sanders. Daniel Sandoz. Linus Schultz, President Scholar. Ian Sebastian. Christopher John Schubert, University Entrance Award. Jason Gregory Sikora. Doris Jane Silver. Sonia Singh. Ian Smith, the Dr. Nicholas Rubridge Award. Kevin Swinton, Sydney Smith, CGA Continuing Education Scholarship. Kevin Sue. Travis Stewart. Norma Sternberg, President Scholar, University Women's Club Award in honor of LCM Stapleford. Edwin Jonathan Tahir. Young Tang, RIU Security and Campus Assistance Services Award. Charlene Tessier. Paul Eugene Tofolo. Jesse Tong. Michael Trang. Brandon Trent. Lisa Lynn Trotter. Tournament of Aces Bursary. Sonia Sui. Richard Van Leeuwen, President Scholar.
Dan Wainwright. Deanna Wampler. Sarah West. Claudius Williams. Jeffrey Williams. Michael James Williams. Wilson, President Scholar. Michael James Wright. Christopher James Wise. Wayne Young. Farouk Zaba. Paul Zickler. Erin Zimmerman, Royal Roads University Student Association Bursary and the Royal Roads University Entrance Award. presentation on behalf of the, of the uh, graduating learners. Would you please welcome Gerard Devino, the learner representative for the Bachelor of Commerce program. Thank you. First off, I'd like to thank the rest of the audience who has taken the time out of their busy day today to come down and attend this joyous occasion. So let's give this audience a hand of applause. It was just a little over a year ago that the Bachelor of Commerce class came here. We came here prepared to learn. We came from all over Canada and other parts of the world. Now, do you remember the first week, the excitement that we had in those first few days? I know I do. I also remember on the very first day Dr. hearing Dr. Stephen Long, the Associate Dean, mention that we will grow very close as a class and that we will each help each other out throughout the good times and the bad. Now we all had some trying times at one point or another throughout this year. Yet with the help of our classmates, who are now also our colleagues and our newfound friends, we are here today and that is an achievement you can all be proud of. So take this moment and enjoy it because you deserve it. You've worked very long and very hard for this. Now, standing here with our degrees, we're closing a chapter in our lives. After our last exam, I'm sure most of you wanted to get as far away from this place as possible <laughs> and never wanted to read another textbook again. I know I did. But 
Something I must stress is that we do not turn away from education, thinking that we have done our time. For learning is a lifelong journey, as I'm sure the graduate MBAs over here can attest to. One thing that will take each and every one of us to amazing places along the way. So just as we came prepared to learn, we have now leave prepared to succeed. For this, I would like to thank our friends, the faculty and staff, and above all, our parents. Thank you. Thank you, Gerard. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Mike Thompson, Director of the Centre for Advanced Management, will announce the names of the candidates for the Graduate Certificate in Executive Coaching. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends and colleagues. I am honored to present to you today graduates from the Graduate Certificate in Executive Coaching. Would the candidates for the Graduate Certificate in Executive Coaching please come forward. Please hold your applause until all the graduates have received their certificates. Laura May Broadbent. Jennifer Latter Hilton. Kyla Jane McLeod. Suzanne D. Voigt. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. Mike Thompson will announce the names of the candidates for the Graduate Certificate in Human Resources Management. Mr. Chancellor, Mr. President, members of the Board of Governors, distinguished honorees, graduates, family and friends and colleagues, I'm honored to present to you today graduates from the Graduate Certificate in Human Resources Management. Would the candidates for the Graduate Certificate in Human Resources Management please come forward. Please hold your applause until all the graduates have received their certificates. Karen Fenskin. Carol R. Fuller. Suzanne Marie Pottinger. Lisa Robinson. Dash Thompson. Tracy Ann Marie Wells. Recall that we awarded a series of honors at the day at the beginning of today's ceremonies. But as I stood on the podium and listened to the words of the various graduate speakers, it struck me, and I guess this should not be as a surprise, but it struck me not just how much we honor you, 
but how much you honor us. One of the interesting things about Royal Roads is that the people who choose to come here actually choose to be here. There's no mom, there's no dad pushing you out the door at age 18, telling you you need to get a university degree. You chose to be at Royal Roads. And I know I speak for all of us in telling you how deeply honored we are that you made that choice. And this convocation does not mark the end of your association with the university. The ceremony closes out Royal Road's first decade as a new and a very different kind of university, but it also opens the door to a future that I believe quite fervently will make you proud of your alma mater as we are very proud of you. So it is as graduates and as lifelong learners that I invite you to continue to take an active role in the future of Royal Roads. Will the graduates please rise? I offer you my congratulations on the completion of your programs. We have high expectations, very high expectations of you, the newest graduates of Royal Roads University. We believe that you will make a difference in society and that the knowledge and skills you've acquired will serve you as well as you assume leadership roles in your communities and in your chosen careers. So I ask your family, your friends, the faculty and staff of the university to join me in applauding the graduates of Royal Roads University. You're still standing. I invite you, the graduates, to applaud your family, your friends, your faculty, and the staff of Royal Roads who have helped you along the way. Ladies and gentlemen, this completes the convocation. I would like to express thanks to the many staff and faculty who contributed to making this convocation successful. I would also like to again thank President Emeritus Kelly for his presentation today and for his portrait. Thank you very much. And to all our guests, to all of you for sharing this important event with us, Please join us at the Hadley Council for a reception. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> see? See up there.
Down. <laughs> Damn, did you get it? <laughs> 